with track and field. Gwen Torrance has been in the news since the finals of the women's 100 meters six days ago. You'll recall that she accused several medal winners of using performance-enhancing drugs, but she didn't name any names specifically. Then last night, Torrance won the 200 meters, erasing, at least in part, her fourth-place finish in the 100. Then today, after some early criticism, she apologized for her accusations, but apologies may not be enough. Today, the track and field governing body, the IAAF, demanded an investigation and report on her accusations from the U.S. Olympic Committee. In theory, Torrance could be suspended if it's determined that her statements damaged the sport, but that is very, very unlikely. We are hopeful of having Gwen Torrance in for an interview on the program tomorrow, at which point we'll discuss the entire issue. Gwen Torrance on the medal stand, and we welcome Gwen to the studio here at the International Broadcast Center. The glory of the 200 meters, everyone saw your reaction, the tears on the medal stand, the exhilaration, your husband, your small boy, the disappointment of not meddling in the 100 meters. That, that's all behind us in these games. And what lingers, for better or worse, the accusations after the 100 meters that, as you put it, uh, three competitors in the race you felt we're using performance enhancing drugs. Do you regret using the Olympic Games as the forum for that now? Um, no, not really. The only thing that I, I regret is that I said a number and I said in the finals, um, I wish that I could have quoted it a better way and I just, I should have said I felt that some athletes here were competing unfairly and um, I never made an accusation. I just said I had an opinion. It turned into an accusation. It turned into so many different things to nobody never said, well, what was really, really said. And, well, um, what was said? This is a good opportunity to make it clear. If you could craft your statement, what would your statement be? Um, first, I had said, at first I had said two people ahead of me, I thought, competed unfairly. And then I didn't see the results. I went by what I thought, the, the, uh, that I thought went on in the race. And then after I saw the results, I changed my statement. And I said that I felt as if there were, I have my opinion of three people in the race and um, I have my suspicion and that what was said after I saw the results. Next thing I hear, I hear people saying names and medalists and I was like this has, I did not say these things so it has gone from one extreme to another and that just wasn't said. Well, one thing that shouldn't be lost in the controversy here is that the issue of performance enhancing drugs itself whether you chose the right words, whether this is the right form aside, performance enhancing drugs continue to be a problem. You were right in your suspicions about Katrine Kraba. You are probably right in your general suspicions that it is still a problem within the sport. But the particular problem here is the scattershot approach and the cloud of suspicion. Here's a chance to clear it up. Do you think Gail Devers is one? No, I, I just, I have no names to mention and um, I would never name anybody name if I don't know for sure. I can only have an opinion which everybody here in these Olympic Games have an opinion. I would never mention anybody's name whether, I mean I just would never do that unless I have some solid proof to back it up. I've never mentioned her name. I would never mention her name. I did not mention Gail's name. Now the way that sounds though is that all you're saying is you're not sure rather than saying I have my suspicions about others, but Gail Devers isn't one. No, I just said I didn't mention Gail's name, which a lot of, all this uproar has gotten in because she, I just feel like people have been telling her that I said her name, which she has not asked me, and she doesn't really know, but I would like to say I have never said her name. I will, I have never said anybody's name. Forgive me for persisting, but saying you didn't say her name is different than saying what you could say. Gail Devers is someone I do not suspect. Um, I just don't have any names to call. I, I can't, I just can't say anybody's name because I can't say that I don't think Gail is, I don't think this person is or this person because there are so many things going on now. People are trying, talking about suing me and, and they're trying to say they're suing me for no reason because I have not mentioned anybody's name. And it's really a lot going on outside of um, just the accusation or the opinion that I stated. Overall, I have not said I sus suspected Gail of being on drugs. And lastly, we want to be fair to you too. It isn't just this controversy. You won two gold medals and a silver. You were up on that stand. 
What do you take away? What feeling do you take away from Barcelona? Um, I am still, still ecstatic about what has happened with me. I've trained very, very hard. I came here with the intentions of getting four medals. I came up short of one, but I'm still very, very happy of what happened. Um, I've done what only one woman has been able to do that I know of is to um, run both relays, run the 100 and 200, and it's very, very rare. And I feel like I'm, I am a special athlete, and I don't want my opinion to cast over what I have done because we all have opinions, and I just express mine, whereas everybody else is holding back, grunting, and want to say something and don't want to say anything because they don't want to happen to them what has happened to me. Gwen, thanks very much, and congratulations on all your success here. Mm -hmm. It's time for us uh, to take off. We'll see you tomorrow as we put a cap on these games of the 25th Olympiad.